In beginning Russian, you've probably seen phrases like these. Вот два чемодана. Я купил две книги. Вот шесть студентов. Я купил пять бутылок. There are some strange rules about noun endings. After numbers that end in the forms 2, 2, 3, and 4, nouns have what look like genitive singular endings. After the forms 5 through 20, nouns have endings that look like the genitive plural. I say after these forms because these rules apply when the things you're counting are the nominative or the accusative, if we're talking about inanimate objects like books or bottles. And that's when we use these forms of the numbers 2, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on. But what about contexts where you need a different case? For example, sometimes we'll want to use a preposition with a number, maybe to say, from three o'clock or until two o'clock. Let's look at do, meaning until or before. It's always used with the genitive, so we'll use the genitive form of the number itself. Do dvuch chesov. Do trioch chesov. Do chetiroch chesov. What about from? Well, Russian has different ways to express from, depending on the context. For clock time, we'll use s with the genitive. So again, with the genitive forms of the numbers themselves, we say z dvuch chesov, z troch chesov, z četiroch chesov, z pici chesov, and so on. So this means you will need to learn the case forms of the numbers. I know that looking at tables isn't always the best way to learn a language, but let's point out a few patterns that may help. Двух, трех, четырех. All have this х sound at the end. Note that we have only one form, двух, for all genders, so no worrying about два versus две. And numbers that end in a soft sign, like пять, шесть, семь, and so on, will end in и. Пяти, шести, семи, восьми. Notice that fleeting е here. Восемь becomes восьми. Девяти, десяти. Notice also that all of these have the stress shift. And then одиннадцати, двенадцати, and so on. And there's one other important point. What do you notice about the nouns here? Chesov is genitive plural. This shows us that this rule about genitive singular nouns after numbers applies only after these specific forms. Два or две, три, четыре. But if the number itself is in a different case, like the genitive двух, then we'll just put the noun that follows into the plural form of that same case. So, z dvuch chesov, z troch chesov. We have the genitive plural chesov after the genitive forms dvuch, trioch. You can use these forms in other contexts that call for the genitive too. U dvuch studentov ishe niet uchebnikov. Mi dolga sideli v malkom restaranchike u piti uglov. Bovayot slučaj vydachi adnamu grajdaninu dvuch pasportov. Next, what can you tell about compound numbers from this example? Можно звонить после 9 часов утра и до 22 часов. In compound cardinal numbers, that is, numbers like 22 or 35, all parts of the number change for case. So, we have 20 and 2, both in the genitive. This is different from ordinals, like 22nd, where only the last element declines. For example, в июне 1922 года. Here, второго is genitive, but the other elements, 1920, all remain in the nominative. And even though you won't need larger numbers for clock time, I should mention that higher numbers in the genitive have their quirks too. We have 40, 90, 100. Note how they all take a in the genitive. And for 50, you'll hear 50. Notice how this is a compound made from pet and desit. So we're really just putting together the genitive forms pt and dct. And we'll follow that pattern through 80. Shisti dciti, simi dciti, vasmi dciti. You know, even native speakers sometimes avoid declining really large numbers, but it's good to be familiar with these forms since you will hear them on the radio, weather reports, and so on. Summing up. Numbers in Russian decline for case, that is, the forms of the numbers themselves may change. The genitive forms for два, три, четыре end in the sound х, двух, трех, четырех. Genitive forms for numbers that end in a soft sign, like пять, шесть, семь, end in и, пяти, шести, семи, and so on. Take special care with the tens of 40 through 100, 
When the number itself is declined, adjectives and nouns that follow will be in the plural in the same case as the number. Показ двух новых фильмов у пяти старых врачей. In compound cardinal numbers, like 22, every element of the number changes for case. For example, до двадцати двух часов.